my fellow Guyanese, good day to you wherever you may be. GHK Lal on Kaicho Radio 99.1 and 99.5 FM on the National Outlook. Thank you for joining us. What's going on here? Who's minding this tour? Is anybody ever watching over the people who come here to do our business, to do our costly business that cost the taxpayers so much? Are we doing nothing other than beating up on one another? Here's it. Here's the story. CGIA's Chinese contractor illegally used equipment for movie town construction. For movie town construction. Oh my. Have we heard some things, things like this before? Have we heard about billions of dollars of of consumer items being imported on the diplomatic cover and making its way making their way into the commercial sector which neutralizes the honest efforts of our own entrepreneurs who's watching over these foreigners who we are so busy looking at our neighbors and our fellow Guyanese to point a finger at them to dig their eyes out to maintain the intensity of our prejudices that other people are smiling, laughing to themselves and laughing all the way to the bank. These guys got a huge set of duty-free concessions. They, it said that they got billions of dollars, transportation equipment, vehicles, trucks, and so on and so forth. The, under its contract, it was allowed to bring in materials and equipment duty-free to the tune of billions of dollars. I showed you some last week. In other words, the Chinese state-controlled company did not have to pay taxes. There was a catch. The same company could not use the equipment for anything else. For They could not use the equipment for anything else except the airport project. The concessions laws are strict about this, yet here we are. How does this happen? Let me get a little vehement here. How the hell does th th things like these happen, and happen continuously and right under our noses? Right under our noses. The Russians do it with Rusol, the Chinese do it in Timba, and now with the airport. Who's watching them? Who's watching out for us? Here's this, also on Thursday from last week. How involved, how involved is the Guyana government, is the government of Guyana in the capital costs associated with the oil projects? A very thoughtful, a very concerned Guyanese engineer, what's his name? I think Mr. Kusial. yeah. Mr. Kusial, who's based in Canada, has been some beating a drum and ringing a bell on this. We are talking about billions of U.S. dollars in these costs that are not that we are paying. We as citizens are paying. That is not coming in as income, but nobody's watching. Just like this business here with these fellows here, nobody's watching them. Who is in bed with whom? Who's selling us out? Who keeps selling us out? Government after government. It's the same damn story. Government after government. They tell you about manifestos. They tell you about all these sweet things and the courtship before elections. They say just as sweet things immediately after. But what's the reality? The reality is that we live with these burdens. We live with these embarrassments. If I'm a government leader, I'm embarrassed by this nonsense. I'm terribly embarrassed. I hang my head in shame, and I move away. When I say I move away, I don't retreat into the office. I, I demit office. I demit office. What am I? Who am I serving? Who am I serving? What am I existing for? To continue the foolishness? To perpetuate the nonsense? We are every Tom, Dick, and Harry.
comes and does this. A government project, that's a people's project, ends up serving the interests of this, a private in Turkey, a private sector interest. Who arranges that? Who is part and parcel of that? How does that come to pass? I mean, you're moving these huge trucks with tons of sand, night after night. Nobody has any answers. Nobody knows anything. But we know now, we got to say thank you to Kaishore News to keep plugging away at these things and keep pressing away at these things and keep putting them before us. But are we listening? Are we holding the feet of our leaders to the fire? I don't think so. I do not think so. I think regardless of which government is in power, supporters are only concerned that their people are in power, and that's all that matters. And why is a little teeth in? Why is a little corruption? The other man just do the talk. But where does that leave us? All that leaves us is talking forever about things like these. And about the other part, how much government is involved in how involved is the government of Guyana and the capital costs associated with the oil project? Oil. Oil is on the brain. Oil occupies all our waking attention now that the elections are over. But we're being, we're being robbed all the time. We are being ripped off. We are being ripped off locally. We are being ripped off by the foreigners. We must be the biggest laughing stock in the world. We must be the biggest jokers around. We have to be the most convenient and the easiest and the sweetest punching bag around. You know? Look at us. Everybody takes advantage of us. Everybody kicks us around. When is this going to stop? Who is watching? Who is looking after your interests and mine? Until the next time, GHK Lao on the Kaicho Radio 99.1 99.5 FM Thank you for joining us. Do have a blessed day.